Hey, it's Mike here from Bash Process, and welcome to my new video on the Sega Game Gear TV Tuner. Okay, so we basically know it's not going to work anymore because there's no analog uh, TV signal that we can receive. But this little device has got a little trick up its sleeve, and we'll show you that very shortly. But we're going to have a look at the insides and see what it does do if we try to use it as a TV tuner. Uh, so let's get straight into it. So this is the box for the Sega Game Gear TV tuner pack and this is the PAL 1 version and the sides of the boxes it's got the same logo on each side and then the back of the box it gives you a little description of what it is so it does say turn your Game Gear into a portable colour TV watch your favourite TV programmes on the go anywhere and there's a couple of little images on the side so you've got an image of you looking at some holiday adverts while you're doing your homework. You can watch the TV while you're driving your car. And you can watch TV while eating your dinner. So just the three things you want to be doing while watching telly. So let's open the box and see what it looks like inside. It comes in a little brown box. You have your instruction manual. And then you have the device itself. So it's cartridge based, so that slots into the back of the Sega Game Gear. On the front, you've got the display panel of the frequency that you tuned into. So there's a little slider on the right, so you can move that along. So you can see it just moving there. If you need to tweak the colour of the image, there's a, a little uh, screw type button that you can turn there, so that'll change the, the colour for you just to get it perfect. You have, on the top of it, you've got a switch for the tuning, oh that explains where the tuning button is. You've got a, a slider on the top that says UHF and VHF. And then you've got external antennae, AV in, which we're going to come back to that in a minute because that is pretty cool. And you also have a massive aerial. So I'm just going to show you how big this aerial is that uh, comes with this. So here's the top of the aerial and I'm just going to pan out so you can see how long it is. Still going, there you go. So here we have my Sega Game Gear and we've got the TV tuner so that just slots into the top where you put your normal game cartridge. And then if I was to turn it on, I would get no signal. And that's because we don't receive analog uh, signals anymore because we've gone digital. So you might think that the TV tuner doesn't work. But you're wrong, it does work. And it's something I didn't realise it had at first, but it's got an AV in outlet. So if you remember the AV icon on the top there, you can do a couple of cool things with that. So what we've got here, we've got an AV. To composite. And then what we're going to do is plug in the AV connection into the top of the device. And then some other leads. We have uh, another composite cable plugged up to a Nintendo GameCube. So we plug the into this little splitter just to make it work. Strangely enough, you'd normally plug in the yellow one because that would indicate the uh, video. And then the red and white ones are for your audio but you need to plug in the white one for it to work that plugs into there and then hopefully because the the screens are a bit temperamental on the game gears I will just pop this up Yeah. 
we now have a Nintendo GameCube playing Sonic from the Sonic Mega Collection on a Sega Game Gear. So I don't have any audio at the moment because I need some more of the, the audio and video splitters. So does the Sega Game Gear TV tuner work in 2021? Yes and no. So obviously the, the tuner itself isn't going to work but the AV function of the tuner does. So you can actually plug in basically anything that's got an uh, AV out. It will plug into the device and show up on the screen for you to play.